All right, got something new here. And uh, you can just guess, made in Russia by Ismash or Ishmash, however you want to pronounce it. All right, got some Russian printing up here. I have no idea what any of this means. This is a Sega rifle that is unconverted and uh, it comes in the sporting configuration. A lot of you guys know what this is. Uh, if you look at the Arsenal Inc. SGL series, like the SGL 21, SGL uh, 31, uh, all of those rifles start like this. Now this one happens to be in 545 by 39, so once this is converted, it'll be uh, an AK-74 uh, setup. Now, this is how they look like when they're shipped into the country. Uh, these are normally shipped to Arsenal Inc. in Nevada, and that's where they do the conversion to make it look like a traditional AK variant. Uh, now, this one was shipped straight from Russia and imported to... Not too well, not sure how well this will show up. What is that? Tully Town, PA. Whoops. RWC Group, Tully Town, PA, USA. That's where it was imported. So, it, you know, it shipped just like this and it was never converted. Okay. This is indeed a Sega receiver or Saiga, however you pronounce it. 545 by 39. Made in Russia by Ishmash or Ishmash, however you want to say it. Now, I, I am going to be doing a full conversion on this to make it pretty much like an SGL 31. Uh, there's quite a bit of work that needs to be done to it. Uh, this is a little project that I've decided to take on. I've always wanted to build my own AK. Uh, pretty much more uh, specifically an AK-74 from a parts kit. Get all the tolling, all the presses, all the jigs, whatever, and uh, build one from scratch. And, you know, the more I thought about it, I really don't want to buy all that tolling and hardware uh, just to build one rifle, you know what I mean? And I also always wanted a Russian AK. So I came across these, and I know you know all the Russian AKs are banned from import currently, and uh, there's a chance they their importation may never again be uh, accepted. So I came across this, and being as I always wanted to build one, and I've always wanted a Russian AK, this is kind of like a compromise. I'm not going to be building an AK from parts, but I am going to be doing a conversion and in a way it's kind of like building one so that'll satisfy uh, you know the, the desire that I've always had to build my own doing a full conversion on this will be good enough and then plus I'm getting it, uh, an AK made in Russia by Ishmash okay I'm not exactly sure on the per, uh, proper pron pronunciation of that word Ishmash, Ishmash, I, I'm not exactly sure exactly how you pronounce it but all the Russian markings are here. Okay, it's, uh, I don't know how you pronounce that. Kanta. There's a little accent mark above the backwards N. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Nice dimples, beautiful rivets. And I want to give a shout out to Gun God 556 uh, He did a three part video on a conversion of a, a Sega just like this 545 by 39. He did a really good in-depth video that really helped me on, you know, to gain the knowledge on how to do a conversion on this. And I'll be going over that in more detail in another video. I just want to show you the rifle, the way I got it. Okay. I'll be doing a full conversion. Uh, it came with a cleaning kit. Okay, pretty nice. I think this is a 10-round magazine. I'm not ever going to be using this at all and it came with a oil bottle and it also came with a cleaning rod that's actually right here and I'll be using that once I get the parts 
for it to be able to hold a cleaning rod. Uh, yeah, so that's it right here. And right here, something I've always wanted to know, this is actually stippling, it looks like, on the receiver. Uh, <clears throat> it doesn't really bother me. Uh, I'm sure if I think of a way to do it, I probably could cover that up or get rid of it somehow. Uh, if not, no big deal, I really don't care. And once I get all of the parts to do a conversion on this, I'm gonna lay it all out and explain to you what I'm gonna be replacing exactly. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually show myself doing the work on it because it's, it might be kinda of hard to see. Uh, you know, I gotta do a lot of grinding and punching out rivets and all that kinda of stuff. Uh, and there's already videos out there on how to do it. Like I said, Gun God 556 did an excellent three-part video. We'll see, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna show yet, but I will show you the progress uh, throughout the conversion. Okay, there's quite a bit of work that needs to be done to it, but yeah, here it is. Sega, made in Ishmash, Russia. It's gonna be an AK-74. Right now it's in the supporterized configuration. That's the only way to legally allow importation into the country. And I'll be doing the conversion on it. So there it is, guys, and uh, there'll be more videos to come on this rifle. You all take care.